Buying a home is a huge yeah. life event, and it can be pretty scary. But the team at Team Cook at Cross County Mortgage, Country Mortgage wants to change it all. Yes. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. How this are you? This is Anna, yes, Cook. Anna Cook. Thank yes. you so much for joining us. Yeah, I and, appreciate you guys having and, me. And you're going to help and teach us how to adult, because adulting <laughs> is a little intimidating. It's intimidating. It's scary. And we have all the questions all the time, right? Okay. When you have all the answers, Anna's answers, you got your own series. Yes. Tell us all about that. So I have been in the mortgage industry for 10 years, okay. and I'm a native to Nashville. And there are so many people that have so many questions, and they're terrified to ask them. And it's like going on WebMD. You WebMD it, you get the cut, you get the worst answers mm -hmm. of what that means. Right. I wanted a platform where real people could have real answers that are professional that make them understand their opportunity for homeownership. And that's why I created Anna's Answers. That's great. Yeah. So amazing because, you know, a lot of people can be maybe scared to ask some questions. What's the most common question you get about a home mortgage? I There's two or three, but the, the number one and the biggest misconception is that do I need 20% down to get a home? You know, everybody right. thinks they have to save this large amount of money to get into a home. Now, here's something to, to think about. You don't make any more money living in a house by putting more money down. Uh, yeah. Right? So you really only need 3%, 3.5% down to get into a home. So on a $300,000 house, that's $9,000. Right. Right? People think they have to save forty, fifty, dollars 100000 to get into a home. And with rent rising and prices changing, people are waiting too long. But what if you could get in for less than twelve grand to get into a home and start building wealth through home ownership? Yeah. And you're paying yourself over time. Oh, I yeah. mean, it's, it really I is. Mean, the average homeowner ends up receiving or earning about $1,200 a month just to live in the place they love in Nashville. Okay. Repeat okay. that yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a so, big deal. So if you look at equity over time and you look at how much you're making just living in your home, playing with your dog, checking out Facebook, Netflix, you know, all the things. Maybe working from home. Working yeah. from home. You will make on average about $1,250 just to live in a house. Because yeah. rent prices are insane. <laughs> oh, yeah. The control. average renter is like $1,800 a month and yeah. it goes up about $200 every year. That's $40,000 in purchase price. Mm -hmm. gotcha. 200 bucks. And, and you can walk, uh, you and your team can walk, can walk everybody uh, through, all, the, through all the steps. Entire process. Tell yes. us about your team. Yeah. So I have a team of four amazing women. Um, we love and are passionate about education, about consultations, and really making sure that the right people get into the right home mm -hmm. that fits their entire lifestyle. So many people think it's a one size fits all, and everybody has a personal journey, and everybody needs help with getting into home mortgages. Yeah. So. so you're doing these Q&As. Yes. You do them on, I want to say, a, a live platform, it's correct? It's YouTube. YouTube, yeah, yeah exactly. YouTube channel. It's Anna's Answers. Right. It's on YouTube. And then I'm going to be answering them on social media, in my newsletter, Very good. live, everywhere, and hopefully on here. And yes. it continues, they continue to be posted, correct? Yes. So you can, let's say you want to watch some past Anna's Answers they segments. Yeah. They're on there. What's one of the hard, most difficult questions that you have gotten? Ooh. Credit is probably the question most people fear. Right. Yeah. It's the one yeah. that people are the most unsure about. And mm -hmm. guys, nobody talks about it. We don't get it in school. We don't get it in college. We don't get it when we start adulting. Right. Nobody really understands credit. And credit is also so unique to everybody's personal situation that I can answer the general questions, but really I want to meet with that person and go through their personal finances to understand that answer to get it to them. But that's the thing that most people ask is, what I need to do this for my credit? Or how do mm -hmm. I fix this on my credit? And that's not a one size fits all either. Because right. it could be intimidating. Yeah. But oh, thankfully yeah. you and your team are there to champion uh, on behalf. The whole thing, all um, the time. Uh, the myth, or I should say, is it a myth when it comes to buying a home? Uh, the famous saying, location, location, location. Is that it? Or should other people look for other things when finding a place to live? I Buying a home is an investment, yep. right? And you stay in a home three to seven years on average. So you want to find a place that you can love living in, that you can resell later, and that you really enjoy being there. Because the longer you stay, the more money you make. So maybe it's location, but maybe it's not because you're in a certain neighborhood, but maybe it's because you're closer to your daughter's daycare. Yeah. Maybe right. it's because it shortens your commute. It's not necessarily the neighborhood that gets the most value, but maybe it gives you the most joy in life. Mm, so that. very good. Teaching Jack. us how to adult. Thank yeah. you, Anna. Yes. yes, thank you, Anna. Remember, she speaks fluent mortgage. This QR code right there on your screen will take you right to a page where you can ask her a question. Check them out on socials the next time you're looking to buy a house. She's fabulous.